I'm Caleb Brooks. I'm with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Lee Montgomery here in Montgomery, Alabama. I'm joined by members of the basketball team here. I'm going to let them introduce themselves, tell you their name, what position they play, and what grade they're in. All right, I'll go first. Um, I'm Deion Curry Lewis, um, 12th grade, and I play four. All right, I'm Demarche Davis, number two. I'm a senior, and I play shooting guard. For you guys, um, you're fresh off the semifinal appearance a year ago. You made it all the way up to Birmingham, and, and you ran into the eventual state champions at Mountain Brook. But playing them, uh, you know, a lot of people think that was probably the state championship game that y'all played in that game. Going up against them, seeing that competition, going against a player like Trendon Watford, I mean, how much do y'all think that's going to benefit now this team coming back and the experience you guys were able to gain playing against them last year? Oh, well, it ain't no big experience. Like, well, we got a good team this year, great, great chemistry. They'll come and play every day. I mean, we're going to be in the Final Four again this year. So. You know, the experience of playing in Birmingham, that's, you know, it's different from playing in regionals, playing all that stuff. What was that like to go up there and play in Birmingham and play at the BJCC and play, you know, four Final Four? Well, they had a great crowd. Um, it was tough, rowdy. I mean, it felt it felt amazing because I never um, played in a crowd that that big. Did so, it kind of feel like a college atmosphere? Yeah, in game? almost. Yeah. And you know, going up there, I mean, it was kind of home court advantage for them almost because they had the crowd, they had the people. So did y'all kind of look at that game in that way of hey, we're, this is going to be a road game, we got to go up there and take care of business. Yes, yes sir. we did. How do y'all feel? I mean, even though you didn't come out on top, obviously y'all played them as well as probably anybody played them a year ago. How'd y'all feel about that game? And, and do y'all feel like y'all really built some momentum towards the end of last year that you can carry over this year? Well, yeah, we did. But we gotta, it's come for practice. How you practice, how you play. Yeah. Would. So, I mean, you know, tell me about this team this year. What have y'all seen in preseason practice? And what really impresses y'all about this team that y'all have coming back this season? Uh, our team very competitive. Very active, um, defense, great on defense, very playing selfless. What I mean, I mean, defense win games, you know what we do. And so, I mean, is that kind of one of the emphasis that Coach Johnson has with y'all is defense first and yes, the offense going to come later on? What What are some of the stuff that y'all do in preseason uh, defensively that, you know, that y'all feel like helps prepare you for the season, prepare you to play as good a defense as you guys really did? Uh, full court slide, zigzag slide, um, close out, box out, um, traps, one on one. Yeah. Same. Yeah. He's at nine dollars. <laughs> you yeah, know, for you, your guard, and uh, obviously, you know that you're going to be on the perimeter and you're going to, you know, be on the outside, and you know, you're forward. Your your job is to be down low. But for you, um, how much pressure is on you? You know, being a guy that is kind of counted on to handle the ball sometimes, and then distribute the ball to people like him and then do you feel that pressure when you're out there on the court sometime to try to get all your teammates the ball? Yeah. And I mean, you know, how do you deal with that being out there and knowing, you know, hey, I haven't gotten the ball to this guy in a while, maybe I need to get him the ball or I haven't gotten it to this guy in a while. I mean, how do you kind of decide when you're out there? I mean, I don't, man, I don't mind passing the ball because I know I pass the ball, he's going to dominate down there in the paint. For you, um, obviously you're looked at as a guy that's going to be an enforcer down low and it's your job to bump people out of the way and, and, and you know, get rebounds, but, you know, how much pressure's on you to be that guy, to be that guy down low that everybody can really count on to go get rebounds and to be the physical presence for this team down low? Well, there's a lot of pressure. We ain't got the height that we had last year, so I got to be more big on rebound, more active, boxing out and stuff like that. Obviously, I mean, y'all lost a really good player a year ago that's now playing over at Murray State. What are going to be some of the ways that y'all maybe have to change your style of play this year compared to what y'all did a year ago, having him down low and having him on the court? Well, like, our big, he can't shoot like like the man from Murray State. Well, so we got a more like a set, a box set, you know. I think our um our game our game plan gonna be a little faster than last year, cause we don't got no bid like that. But we're gonna be straight. How do you feel about that? Obviously, you're probably gonna enjoy going getting up and down the court, playing a little bit faster. Yeah, but I still gotta help my team out though, like with the rebounds on D. Obviously now, you know, going into this year, y'all have to know that there's a target on your back, you know, doing what you guys did a year ago. As, as, have y'all kind of talked about that and talked about how teams are probably going to be gunning for y'all a little bit more after accomplishing what you accomplished? Yeah. Hey, everybody that all here this year. Coach pre there all the time. And, I mean, what are some ways that y'all kind of talked about dealing with that and knowing that each week y'all pretty much have to bring it every single game because there's not going to be any slouches on your schedule? You know, I pray to my coach. He tell us, like, 
you can't go in here under under estimate your team, uh, your opponents. You can play to your best ability for a quarter. Get all you got, leave it on the court. And play like every game like it was your last. You know, obviously y'all kinda getting to do something this year that Lee hadn't gotten to do in a while, which is all the football players are here for basketball now, you know, here in the yeah. preseason. I mean, it's not the way that you wanted it, but, you know, how much do y'all think y'all that that can help this basketball team now having guys that are going to get a full preseason practice compared to previous years? And, like, last year, like, team, like when we made playoff, we ain't had that much time to, uh, to prepare as a team, so we had that much chemistry, but we started got it working. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, when you consider the fact that, you know, last year you guys made a semifinal appearance and, and – really didn't have guys that could practice early in the year. Does that kind of encourage you and how you feel about this team, knowing that we've had everybody here for a couple weeks and now when we get started, you know, there's not going to be any rustiness or anything like that out there on the court? Um, yeah. Talk, man. Huh? I, I mean, how, you know, having everybody out there, I mean, how does it make, does it give you more confidence in this group this year maybe than you had in that group at the beginning of the season a year ago now that you're going to have? The whole team here for the preseason practice. Yes, if I can be like, I might be tired, I get out the game, mm -hmm. and my backup come in. And do. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all taking the time to sit down with me and join me. Good luck to y'all this year. I know y'all ready to get the season started and get out there and get to competing, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how y'all do. Thank yeah. you.